Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jess and today I'm going to bring you guys to the grand reopening restaurant of Liu Shou Hot Pot in Richmond. They are the first one to land in North America, so I can't wait to show you guys. So let's go. Hi. Hello. I just literally walked like so many blocks. I'm like, where am I? Am I lost? You walked all the way from where? Lens down. Oh, oh, from the sky train. I was like, hello, hello? <laughs> the menu right in front of us they have a lot of soup based options um, I think I'm going to try out their signature Leo's house special soup base I can't really eat spicy so we're gonna go for mild today and they have two other um, seasonal soup bases that sounds amazing they have chicken with coconut soup and also duck with Chinese pickled radish and I love some pickled radish so that sounds so amazing I can't wait we're gonna go for triple soup so let's see how this is we are at the sauce bar they have so many sauces let's check out what they have Ooh, they have pork floss satay sauce chili sauce green pepper sauce and they even have a dessert over here I wonder what that is that's very interesting yeah chili powder oyster sauce sugar Spice vinegar, seafood soy sauce, salt, preserved Sichuan pickle, chive sauce, bean curd sauce, sesame, soybean, peanut, and this one has no sign, so I have no idea what this is. Green like pepper kind of oil. Chili. That looks pretty spicy. Yeah. So if you guys like spices, then this might be your thing. And then there's this Lao Gan Ma chili sauce, spicy sauce. Capsicum, I can't even say this properly. Capsicum. <laughs> Just say the Chinese. <laughs> Mushroom paste, spicy beef sauce, mashed garlic, and then there's a sesame paste right here. Ooh. A full bucket of it, so that's So much awesome. sesame paste. Yeah, and they also have some cilantro, chopped green onion. So the sauce bar is pretty amazing. They also have cilantro, chopped green onions, and then they have fruits on the side. And of course, Phil's favorite, watermelon. So I'm assuming that he's gonna grab a bunch of those later. Um, and then they also have like some peanuts and radishes. So that's amazing. So we're gonna grab some sauces later and head back to our table. Oh my gosh, we got our soup base and there is a cow and there that is the, oh, and the cow totally dropped in. The cow is officially, did I touch it? No, I don't think so. The cow is officially dead. It's done. Oh, so sad. Um, yeah, so like the cow is actually um, the spicy part of it. That's making the soup spicy. There's also a bunch of chilies in there, which is also making it spicy, but I don't know how I'm going to feel about it because I don't eat spices, but I'm super excited about the other two soups. So once all the meat arrives and everything, I'll show you guys everything else. So can I get the house special beef and lamb platter? Sure. In this platter, what meat, which meat is on there? All the hand sliced beef and uh, select beef. Okay, can I also get the, um, the sliced Angus beef? And also the sliced Australian lamb? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I'll try the special shrimp paste shrimp with paste. rope and also the duck blood cake. Duck blood cake. Um, what else do you recommend? Or, okay, I'll recommend this one, beef strike. This one is not the regular beef strike. Oh, this really? one is, yeah. This one, because, we, uh, because for the cow there, they have lots of stomach. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. And this one is one of their stomachs. Oh, okay. Yeah, not the regular one. Okay, so let's try that one, yeah. And we'll also order some vegetables. We have platters if you want. Oh yeah, let's do that then. Yeah, a bit of everything. Yeah, and I think that should be good enough. Yeah. I think. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So excited. Okay, guys. So on the side, they have this woman who is standing in front of the meat cutter and they slice the meat fresh. 
and they played it so nicely. I'll see if I can capture an action and show you guys how, how, how they do it because it's pretty cool how they slice it fresh. We're making our own sauces right now. David will show us how to make it, so. All right, David, are you gonna show me? Yeah. I'm just, I'm just show you. So basically cool. the most important, like it's like actually number one. Oh, number one. Oh, number so you one. just like follow it. Yeah, yeah. this is the, the garlic uh, the garlic oil base okay. on a little jar. Oh. Like they have their own branded like, little jar of like sesame oil. Oh, that's, so what, that's what that was. Okay, okay. So here I have um, mashed garlic, cilantro, yeah. and green onions. It's called what I'm doing uh, is just following like over, number so one, like, so like, which is the on the wall. You just have to follow it, and then you're good to go. Know how to eat, eat like spicy hot dogs. Nice. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try this later. It's, it sounds really good. Yeah, yeah. So you, I just grabbed one of those jars. Okay. Where Where did you guys get the bibs? Oh. Oh my god, I need one of those. I know, me too. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Shot! <laughs> so, we have this right here, which is oil. This is legit just oil in a can. So you pour this in here, and it's like one of the best sauces, according to David. So, I can't wait to try this. And then they also have like little bibs, aprons on the side. How cute! We came back to our table, and it's filled with food. Yes, 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 yes. All right, guys, we ordered a lot of food, so I can't wait to show you guys. So on this side of the platter, it's lamb meat right here, and on the other side is beef. And here we have Australian lamb. So I've never tried Australian lamb meat before, so this is going to be very, very interesting. And over here, we have a shrimp paste with roe. And apparently this one's really, really popular and really good, so I can't wait to try this one out. And right here, we have duck blood cake. Yes, very interesting. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it, but we'll try this out. And here we have tripe. And apparently this one is very, very different from your usual tripe, so that's gonna be very interesting to try. And then over here we have more beef and a platter of vegetables, which comes with vegetables here like choy and mushrooms. So before we try anything, you can try the soup. So I'm gonna try this one right here which is the um, coconut chicken. So I'm just gonna try a little bit. It smells amazing already. Whoa, that is so good. The broth is amazing. All right, I'm gonna try the other one. Duck pickled radishes. Oh, I like, I like that one. Wow, I love that. These two soup bases, bomb, like it's so bomb. I'm gonna try this, the spicy one. I don't know how I'm gonna handle this. Oh! <laughs> it's so spicy. Now, we ordered mild, okay? I should just tried like a very, very little sip of it and I'm already coughing. The flavor wise is so good, so if you guys like spicy, this might be like your thing, but because I don't eat spicy, so these two are hands down like so now we're gonna try and dig in and try the food. All right guys, I got a lot of stuff in front of me. Got these long chopsticks. All right, I'm gonna put this inside. Now the one that I'm cooking right now is B. It's part of the platter and this platter is amazing. It has half lamb, half beef. And it looks really, really cool, so I just can't wait to try it. All right, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try the beef. Okay, guys. So we started eating a couple things already, and everything is really, really good. Right here, I have the tripe. So apparently this one is very different from all the other ones. I only cooked it for around seven seconds. So let's try this. Dip it into the sauce. Mm. Wow. 
I like it. So here I'm gonna try the Australian lamb. So for the Australian lamb, um, you're only supposed to cook it for around 15 seconds. So let's put this in. Okay, while that's cooking, I'm gonna put some other stuff in it. So I'm gonna put the regular lamb into this one. And I'm also gonna put a beef into... Should I try the spicy one? I'm gonna try the spicy one. I'm gonna put the beef into the spicy one. All right, so this should be done. Here's the Australian lamb. This should be good too. This is the regular lamb. Right there. And let's pick up my beef in there. And a spicy one now. And let's put this in another bowl so then it doesn't get mixed up. Let's try the regular lamb first. Dip it into the sauce that I made. Oh, so hot. This smells so good. Mm. The lamb is just so fresh. It's so good. Okay, so that was a regular lamb. It tastes amazing. I want to try the Australian lamb because I've never tried Australian lamb before. Oh, it's very different. I actually kind of prefer the regular lamb. I prefer the regular lamb over the Australian lamb. That's just my opinion. Phil can try it later. Let's we'll see what he says, but that's just purely my opinion. So here we also have um, the shrimp paste with roe. So let's cut up a little. And it looks like a thumb, in case you guys are wondering why it's shaped like that. Put that in. I'm gonna make one for Phil too. And I'm gonna put some, um, the duck blood. The duck blood cake. I'm gonna put this in there. I've never tried blood cakes before and it sounds so freaking nasty, but this is one of the highly recommended ones. And one of our friends mentioned that duck blood cakes anywhere is amazing. So let's give it a try. And also we have vegetables here, but they're just vegetables. So I'll show you guys that later. Okay, so just made some food. I'm gonna try it out. My friend Sean's always telling me how really he really loves duck blood. And I don't think I've ever tried it. I've tried pig's blood, but not Doug's blood. So let's see how this is. It has a very, it does taste like tofu, like, or the texture of it, but then it gets harder in the middle. It's almost like a jelly. It tastes really good by itself like that, actually. Hmm. Somehow this is so not like pig's blood where it's like really thick and no taste to it. It's super plain. This actually just goes down so easy. If I wasn't looking at it, I would think I'm eating tofu or some kind of tofu, but not really. All right, this is the shrimp paste with roe. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, fun fact. So, Lily Show was founded in 2000 and they started from one single shop from Chongqing. I, ho I hope I'm saying that right. Phil is laughing at me. Um, they started with one store and now they have over 1,200 stores worldwide. They even have it in Dubai, Singapore, um, in the States, in Toronto, Ottawa, and now they have it here in Vancouver. It's very good. I really like the triple soup option so you can try different ones and if the flavor is not what you like then you have the other two options and the meat is so fresh they're cut fresh on the side which is amazing and you can definitely tell the difference in quality um, and also if you ever come here get the shrimp paste with roe it's life-changing it's one of the best like paste like fish paste that I've ever had so that's the shrimp paste amazing hands down bomb I would highly recommend you guys checking it out this location is in Richmond Lily show Richmond they just renovated they renovated for like three months so if you guys are interested I highly recommend checking them out hey guys so we just finished with Lily show hot pot and it was amazing we are stuffed to the max so if you guys are ever in Richmond or if you guys are ever in Vancouver, highly recommend you guys checking Lu Yu Show. They have a couple locations in Vancouver already, so it's amazing. Their broth is so good and their meat is so fresh, so I highly recommend you guys checking them out. I want to thank Lu Yu Show for inviting us to their grand reopening party. Their interior looks stunning and 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, remember to subscribe to our channel, comment down below, and like our video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!